Hello, hi, welcome back. This year, I'm definitely going to start my business. I want to be successful. I want to be happy. I don't want to worry about the bills that I'm going to pay next month. You see, these are the conversations that generally happens between your heart and your mind. But how do I get this thought into an action? How do I get this thought into an idea or money? Let's talk about that in detail. In this video, we're going to review another interesting book. And the name of the book is it's written by Napoleon Hill. You got the name? I didn't say the name. It's Think and Grow Rich, written by Napoleon Hill. Right. In general, richness is material. Money, car, property. But the author says that richness is your mind. Richness is your idea, thought, your character, your value. These are all the forms of richness. Let's see what are other forms of richness in detail. So who is Andrew Corn Napoleon Hill? The book is written by Napoleon Hill. His mentor is Andrew Carnage. Sorry about that. So who is Napoleon Hill? He was an American author. He was born in 1883. He has written a lot of other books, but this was his famous work. If you see the life story of Napoleon Hill, that itself is an inspirational story. When he was nine years old, his mother passed away. And when he was uh, 12 years old, his father got remarried. And by the age of 13, he started working. He was good at writing, so he went to a local uh, magazine and he started writing reports for them. By the age of 20, he met another uh, entrepreneur, a philanthropist. His name is Andrew Cornage. He was his mentor. Now we can relate it, right? Okay. So Andrew Cornage, he was working with a lot of businessmen and entrepreneurs those time, and he used Napoleon Hill for writing or uh, helping him with this uh, with his business. Later on, they found that all the successful people, all these businessmen, they were all they were all following the same pattern. Their success are all in the same pattern. And they said, okay, this is not something that we need to have. We need to spread this knowledge across the world. And they written a book. And that came as Think and Grow Rich. So that's about the author. Now let's see the content in detail. So th through this book, there are 18 steps or 18 ways to be successful or secret of success is what the author says. And the book starts with a very good introduction about Thomas Alva Edison and a conversation between um, Thomas Alva Edison and Andrew Cornage. And this, they, they talked about how Thomas Alva Edison was successful and they've given 13 steps one by one. I'm not going to tell you all the 13 steps, but there are a few steps or a few important points which I felt was really captivating. So the first one is desire. Author says that having a burning desire, a passion towards something that you really like, that is the first or foremost step to be achieving something. So power of desire matters a lot. And he also says that having a specific knowledge on a particular field matters a lot. So generally, gen uh, in, in uh, general, there are two, two forms of knowledge, uh, general knowledge and a specific knowledge. If you see the history or the author says, if they look at the history, people who are successful or people who have accumulated a lot of money or not the one who are having a broad knowledge on various fields, they are having a specific knowledge on a particular field. So having a specific knowledge on a particular field matters a lot. He also talked about Henry Ford's life story. Henry Ford was a person who didn't go to college or university, but he was a person who actually had his own business with his, just his idea on how he had gathered a group which has who helped them to form the business, right? He also says that having a mastermind group matters a lot which he has also given an example. Say, for example, you, you have a battery with 10 watts and you have five batteries with 10 watts. That's a big amount of energy. So that group that if you meet a people, or in general also, if you meet someone with the same knowledge or with the same inspiration with what you have, you find that meeting was fascinating, right? So that mastermind group really matters if you want to be successful. And the author also talks about persistence. So persistence is a big chapter in this book. So majority of us, when we fail or when we have something going wrong, we throw in the towel, we give up, we say, oh, I can't do that. But author says that having a persistent mind matters a lot to be successful. He also talked about what are all the symptoms to lack of persistence. And he also talked about how to be persistent. So those are all discussed in um, various other topics. So that's about the book. And uh, please give it a thought and read it. You can see the book was a little old but it's not that old. I bought it in uh, 2016. And I review this book every single year. That's the reason you may see it a little clumsy. So I, I also have written a lot of uh, points here and there. I review this every year because every single year I find new ideas through this book. So I wish you do the same. So please read it and you 
Have a good day. Bye-bye.